Today, Governor Ralph Northam signed a bill to honor Breonna Taylor. She is the Louisville woman who was shot and killed when police entered her home during an investigation. The governor says the bill, which outlaws no knock warrants, makes communities safer. But not everyone agrees. Jackie DeFusco has the story from our Capitol Bureau. Well, Governor Ralph Northam saying today that Virginia is just the third state to ban no-knock warrants and actually the first to do so in the name of Breonna Taylor following her death back in March that became central to nationwide calls for police reform. Say her name, Breonna Taylor. Lawmakers and family members are honoring the 26-year-old EMT whose death at the hands of Louisville police in March inspired a ban on no-knock warrants in Virginia. Today we're taking a step forward to making sure other families don't suffer the same loss as your family. Two of Taylor's aunts and the family's attorney flying in to watch Governor Ralph Northam sign what's being called Brianna's Law. Here's Ben Crump and Bianca Austin speaking at the ceremony. You all in the state of Virginia stood up for Brianna Taylor and her legacy. We are so grateful and honored for these gestures and these laws, but let us not forget that Breonna Taylor still needs justice. Delegate Law Sharice aired and Senator Mamie Locke saying introducing this bill was personal and its passage is a win for racial equality. Black girls, their lives do matter. Breonna is me. Chief Maggie DeBoard, president of the Virginia Association for Chiefs of Police, says no-knock warrants were already very rare. Still, she has concerns about banning the tactic completely, and she's even more worried about the requirement that warrants be served during the day unless officers get the approval of a judge. This is the one bill that I, I lose sleep over. The administrative requirements that they've put in place are dysfunctional, and they're going to create significant safety concerns for our law enforcement officers and for our community. Now, even though the ceremonial signing of Brianna's law was today, I'm told it will not actually take effect until March 1st of 2021. For now, reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco.